Some big names from industry, academia, and investment have joined forces to launch the Longevity Biotechnology Association, a nonprofit organization with the goal of extending health span and ending age-related diseases. We'll tell you who is involved and what they're up to in this episode of Lifespan News. Like many things over the past year-ish, the genesis of the Longevity Biotechnology Association can be traced to a Zoom call. The idea came about when James Payer of Cambrian Biopharma, Jim Mellon of Juvenescence, and Mahmood Khan of Evolution Foundation, and formerly the CSO of PepsiCo, were asked during a panel about how biotechnology companies could collaborate. And they decided that there were a few good opportunities that could speed up the development and use of life-extending science and technology. So they joined up with others, including Einstein Institute for Aging Research Director Nir Barzilai, the Longevity Fund founder Laura Deming, BioAge CEO Kristen Fortney, Harvard's David Sinclair, Longevity Vision Fund founder Sergey Young, and more. The goal of many of these leaders is to develop new medicine and treatments to prevent and cure, rather than merely manage, the health conditions of late life, such as cancer and Alzheimer's. By joining these leaders together, the LBA seeks to serve as a united voice for the industry. They've outlined four main goals to educate governments, the media, the public, and the medical field about the promise of emerging therapies, to collaborate in order to create and disseminate best practices in the geroscience field, to advise newcomers to this field by providing insightful advice about approaches to geroscience and related technologies, and to work with regulators, such as the FDA, to establish well-defined, rapid paths to approval that will bring this new class of therapies to patients. There are a lot of diverse opinions when it comes to aging and many approaches to addressing it, and many of them are represented within the LBA. One of the early initiatives of the group will be working to standardize the biomarkers that will be used to gauge the efficacy of a therapy or treatment. Posting to Twitter, James Payer says, I love the incredible community of leaders in our field, brilliant people from all over the world, diverse backgrounds, different ages, united around a single mission reducing the incredible suffering experienced by older people and the loss of the bereaved. The progress and revolution in longevity has come not from a single government plan, but by scrappy academics making discoveries and taking chances, and now scrappy startup companies bringing those discoveries to patients. We work on different IP, under different banners, but we work with a shared mission, and we all know that however we as a field can succeed in that mission, it makes each group more successful a rising tide that will raise all ships. By walking together with a shared mission, setting the standards for what should be measured in longevity trials, sharing data, and defining excellence in the field, the LBA will serve an important role in bringing transformative medicines to people everywhere. You can learn more about this launch on the Lifespan.io website, where they've posted an article featuring interviews with various organizers. Find a link in the video description. We'll be following their progress, as well as others involved in life extension science, so please subscribe so you don't miss out. I'm Ryan O'Shea, and we'll see you next time on Lifespan News.